Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So I got a comment here on on uh, YouTube that I wanted to uh, answer with regards to coding, learning programming languages to get a job via online or boot camp. And so we have a guy here. He says, I went to coding boot camp Java, Spring, Angular, MySQL, MongoDB last year. Haven't got paid a dime yet. I haven't spoken to a single Excuse me, I haven't spoken a single word to an interviewer. Anyway, so then he goes on to say, does hack, hacker rank 30 minutes a day? I've worked on various projects for my GitHub. Uh, I keep uh, an app for a board game to help establish game history for players, matchmaking. I keep, I record a record keeping app that he has, excuse me, for a board game to help establish game history for players, matchmaking, etc. How the hell is anyone finding app dev as a freelancer with two months training? Where are you meeting these people? All right, so here's the problem for this dude. And he's, at least he's making an effort, so that's good that you're making the effort, and that's very good. But what you did is, first problem you did is that you went to a boot camp that teaches you Java and Spring and Angular. These are technologies that are largely used in huge corporations. They probably will not hire somebody from a boot camp with, who had learned these skills from boot camp unless you already have a computer science degree, a computer engineering degree, some sort of background. The exception when large organizations hire people uh, to do write code is if they have if they don't have a degree. The exception is if they have lots and lots of experience, which you don't in this situation. So you got like a catch twenty two. So you've trained yourself to a certain extent with uh, in the Java, in the Spring, in the Angular world, which is the world for enterprise business, huge business. But huge business does not hire people from boot camps unless they already have a deep knowledge and experience of coding unless they already have a technical degree. If you want to get a job from a boot camp or online courses, you have to go of the small business coding route. The small business coding route, by far and away, the best is the web stack. HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, PHP, a little bit of SQL in there, uh, maybe a little bit of Python, but you want to stay away Bootstrap, uh, Vue.js for your frameworks, but you want to stay away from the enterprise languages unless you want to go into the enterprise, I meaning big business, but you're not going to get into big business unless, as I said just before. So this guy's problem here is that, well, one of the problems is that he's trained in the wrong tech for what he wants to do. You're not going to, it's not going to work that way. You have to train for the right technology uh, given your circumstances. So to, again, to repeat, you have to understand the business uh, realities of whatever skills you are uh, training in. And so you can't expect to get a job in Java and Spring and Angular, which are enterprise technologies, if you don't have the other major requirements that enterprise typically look for. Even though even though, as I cite over and over again, uh, Google, and I believe it was Apple as well, did a big study of all their employees, and they found that uh, whether somebody had a high degree or not had zero impact in terms of the quality of the employee. So you would imagine that in time, uh, people will start to realize that, hmm, I don't need to hire somebody with a college degree to get a great guy or a great girl to come work for me. Uh, but that's going to take time because corporate culture, you know, it takes them two committee, meeting, two committee meetings to decide if they're going to change brand of toilet papers in the two bathrooms that they have on the second floor. So it's going to take time. In the, mean, in the meanwhile, unless you're willing to go to university, don't study Java, Angular, and Spring. Because these are enterprise technologies. Unless you want to do that on your own for whatever reasons. You want to go with the nimbler, smaller uh, languages that are used by small business. Small businesses are going to hire contractors. Small businesses are going to hire freelancers. That's the key. Another thing you can get into if you're, if you're concerned about freelancing and starting a consulting business 
is understand business needs. Look around your local market, local around, see what, what's, the, what's the demand for these small and medium-sized businesses. You may find it's PHP. You may find it's uh, Node.js and JavaScript. Who knows? You got to look around at that. And finally, you can't ignore um, less exciting but potentially very profitable uh, tools that you could use as a professional uh, coder or uh, as a professional uh, technology provider, if you will. And that is um, things like uh, WordPress. Content, manage content management systems like WordPress and Joomla and Drupal, uh, even Wix, even uh, Squarespace, even Shopify, becoming a consultant in those technologies. I have literally seen jobs on Indeed for high, high, pretty high paying jobs, not much lower than a full stack coder for Wix professionals. There's a lot of small business owners that they don't want to spend the time building out using Wix, understanding Wix. Uh, you, see, you see things like Wix and Squarespace, they're fine for very simple, but as soon as you get outside of very simple, then you need skills. And even if you're putting together a simple site, you still need to do things like choose domain names, set up your web marketing um, structure, all kinds of other things that are uh, that come around on the peripheral of building the site itself that require a certain amount of knowledge. Yeah, it's not the same as building an app from uh, top to bottom, but it could be very profitable if you approach this properly. Finally, in terms of getting a job, as I said, you got to target uh, the type of code that you're writing for the type of job or the type of business you want to start, but also can't ignore soft skills. You can't ignore people skills. Very important. Uh, before I tell people, before you learn a new framework, before you learn a new language, after you've got your base down in terms of coding and programming, you better to learn better people skills. That's going to take you much, much further.